There are many ways to measure strength, physically, mentally, emotionally. UH Warrior linebacker RJ Kiso Kauhane has the whole set. Known for his physical power coming out of IAEA High School, Kiso Kauhane was already bench pressing 400 pounds as a prep senior, and he carried with him a capacity for mental strength as well. An honor roll student throughout high school, he's now majoring in Hawaiian studies. Emotionally, Kiso Kauhane has also endured, primarily a reserve and special teams player the last three years. The 5'11", 225-pound senior is now looking to carry the spirit of the Warrior squad, voted in yesterday as one of the team's captains. They kind of showed me that I earned their respect in a way. I mean, I didn't really think that I was going to actually be the position that I am now today, but I mean, I take pride in what I do, and I, I know now the guys that they look up to me. We needed a uh, vocal captain as uh, as now kind of quiet. I mean, a lot of the vocal seniors that last year left, and I mean, I was always uh, kind of like show by action, and now I think I got to step up to the plate and show that I can do the job as a captain. Kiso Kauhane has a total of 31 tackles in his UH career with four starts to his credit, but this year he's the guy at weak side linebacker, and he's looking to make an impact in this his senior campaign. I mean, I feel real good. I mean, my senior year, I just got to put it all together, and I feel like I can be a, um, one of the key points of this football team and lead my players as well. How much are you jonesing to just go out there and see somebody in a different uniform and just knock the you-know-what out of them? i getting chicken skins from the, the bottom of my feet to the top of my head. I mean, I can't wait. I mean, it's going to be exciting. I mean, I could just, right now, just talking about it, I get a chicken skin, so it's going to be great. We're getting chicken skin, too, a week and a half away from the season opener. Hawaii taking on Central Arkansas Friday, September 4th at 7.05 p.m. Another NFL quarterback situation that's drawing interest. Where Colt Brennan stands with the Redskins. Reports suggest that Chase Daniels has gained an edge over the former Warrior because of his recent success against the Steelers with two touchdown passes there in the second half. Brennan, on the other hand, has two interceptions to his name so far this preseason. Head coach Jim Zorn says the two are in heavy competition for the third and final QB spot. Zorn has decided to play Colt this Friday versus the Patriots and sit Daniels out. With training camp over, the training wheels are off for the Warrior football team this week. There's less time spent on drills and more time invested in X's and O's. I mean, it looks like you're definitely getting into the game planning at this point. Yeah, this is where we get into uh, our basic game plans and not specifically on Central Arkansas, but basically what we're going to do in the first three games. Uh, we're, it, all of our package is, is uh, based on fundamentals and techniques, so it fits against everybody. So it's a general game plan, uh, and we'll get more specific next week. With the first day of school yesterday, the Warriors are now back to their early morning sessions so they can get to class. Practices run from 7 to 9. As you gear up for Warrior football and want to meet the team, tune in for the Coach Mack Show the second season. Half-hour preview special airs next Thursday at 6.30. We could call them the first family of football in Hawaii. Greg McMacken is the head coach of the Warriors, and his wife Heather knows a thing or two about the game as well. And this week she bring an, she's bringing other ladies into her world in a football clinic just for women. Uh, Greg and I have been in a partnership for so long and we've been in coaching for so long we always consider it our career. You know, it's it's a family business. That's why every now and then you'll see Heather McMacken watching practice. She's learned to love the game and loves teaching it at her annual women's clinic. Really our own two mothers are the ones who inspired us many years ago because they watched all these football games and, ha and had no clue what was going on. UH defensive lineman Rocky Savanaya says he knows what it's like when ladies get lost following the action. You know, it's funny, for my mom, she didn't even know what defense and offense was. She was calling our quarterback, uh, our defensive end sometimes, you know, and she just had everything mixed up. So when I started playing football, that's when she really started catching on to the game. If you were among those who went to last year's Wahine Football Clinic, you could go again. Tomorrow's insider perspective is different. I'm going to go through how they create the scouting report and practice plans and all the details that are involved. It's very technical, a lot of film work, a lot of charting, and so we thought it would be interesting for them to see how they do that. And for those who really want to feel for the game? If someone does want to learn how to throw the ball correctly or catch it or maybe kick it through the uprights, they'll have an opportunity to do that. 
So wear comfortable shoes if you're planning on doing that. No heels. And there's no <laughs> pressure to get physical. It's tomorrow at the Stand Sheriff Center at 7. They have a pre-registration. If not, you can catch them at the door for 15 bucks. I mm -hmm. hope they don't have any Boise State spies in there. <laughs> Given all the oh, tricks of the trip. Coach Mac's going to keep up on some things. Yeah. 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 But it's, it's neat to see, you know, uh, to see just what goes on in their minds oh, and how yeah. they do it. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And as a woman giving sports, it's good to see women yeah. taking yeah. charge yeah. like that. Yeah, you go, Heather. <laughs>